Hello there guys, it's me Stranger at Hydro 9 and welcome to my Halo Anniversary review. I know a lot of you guys have wanted this review for quite a long time and um, I'm very happy to be able to finally do this and um, I know that uh, you guys have been waiting and I'm sorry for that wait but let's just get started and have some fun. Um, thank you again to RX Tony for capping this video as well um, and the first thing I want to say about this game is that it is it is good. If you are a Halo fan, you should go out and buy this game immediately. Um, the reason for that is in the couple of playlists that this game excels in, it does not feel like Leech. Um, it actually feels like Halo 1, um, and that's a very, very good thing because it's meant to simulate Halo 1. Um, the, the playlists you're going to be playing mainly are Anniversary Classic, which is the playlist I'm playing right now, and Big Team Battle. Um, Big Team Battle pretty much only has one good map, and that is Timberlands, and you want to play it the a Anniversary uh, anniversary Team Slayer, I think it's called. Um, and luckily, Halo Anniversary has pretty smart players that will generally pick... Um, you know, the playlist that is based on Halo 1, I guess you could say. Um, now, luckily in Classic, you're not taking any risk. You're guaranteed to be playing, you know, um, the Classic mode, which is basically, as far as I can tell, little to no bloom. Uh, you do take some fall damage, but Halo 1 style fall damage, not like Halo Each style fall damage. Uh, melees are much weaker, um, and the Free Shot Pistol is definitely in effect. Um, so basically, I just want to say that I was very excited about this game, I waited for months for this game, and I'm very happy with what they produced, um, with some notable exceptions, and I want to talk about one of those exceptions right now. Um, I love to play on Guardian in Halo 3, I could play, you know, five or six of the best maps of Halo 3 pretty much forever, but for a lot of people, they want variety, and one of the things that this game doesn't provide is variety. Um, you'll basically only get a couple maps, and those are Prisoner, Hang 'em High, Beaver Creek, um, I guess if you're talking about Big Team, you could say Headlong, which I just want to put this side note out there, Headlong is my least favorite of the maps they packaged, um, it's, it's an extremely campy map, and I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't take something like, um, Lockout from Halo 2 instead of a map like Headlong, which really doesn't make sense compared to the other maps, if you understand me. Um, most of Halo Anniversary maps are very small, um, you know, 4v4 maps um, that are very, very good in my opinion. I've always preferred smaller maps, and I think the maps that are packaged are very good. But I do believe 343 made a little bit of an error. Um, they should have included more maps. Um, I don't really understand why the game came with so few. Uh, it just seemed like a way to, I guess, cut money. I, it just it didn't really make much sense to me. Um, but the maps that are there are very good, and if you like, you know, small 4v4 maps that are not a uh feeling, then you're going to enjoy these maps. Now, I'm going to move on to the campaign, and really the campaign boils down to this. Do you want to play Halo 1? in co-op uh, with achievements because that's basically what you're getting um, you're not like the, the the touted like graphics update is not that noticeable um, like on some uh, missions like truth and reconciliation uh, on inside environments you can see a big difference but in a lot of missions let's say like the second mission Halo uh, you know outdoor style missions you're not going to see that much of a difference now, is the game worth it for $40 to get uh, the multiplayer you do and basically Halo 1's campaign? Yes, it is. If you're planning to play this in co-op and are a Halo fan, uh, that probably in itself would be worth $40. Bucks. Um, really, in my opinion, the only good thing that we've seen come out of the Leech engine so far um, you know, is this multiplayer. And the multiplayer is again probably worth 40 bucks if you're a Halo fan. Um, you don't get that many maps, but it is good multiplayer. 
and for me quality is definitely more important than quantity um, so you know if you're a Halo fan and want something to hold you off until Halo 4 I would definitely recommend going and getting this game definitely play an anniversary classic and um, anniversary slayer I mean anniversary classic and big team battle with Timberlands um, anniversary slayer that's basically what you want to play um, I hope you like this review uh, please leave a like and a comment if you can and I'm currently trying to figure out my ISB options um, so I can keep producing videos um, just thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed Hydra out